morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. We're so glad that you were able to join Tom and I on this Wednesday morning in this fourth week of Pentecost. Uh, it's always great to start our day with the Word of God. And we've got, I have my tea and I hope you have your morning uh, drink and uh, let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God our light in our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 15. Let's see here. Lord, who may dwell in the, in the tabernacle? Who may abide upon your holy hill? Whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right, who speaks the truth from his heart? There is no guile upon his tongue. He does no evil to his friend. He does not heap contempt upon his neighbor. In his sight the wicked he has rejected, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He has sworn to do no wrong, and does not take back his word. He does not give money in hope or gain, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never be overthrown. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, your first choice to live among us, and in returning to your Father you made an eternal home for us. Help us walk blamelessly in your ways, and bring us at last to your holy mountain, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, our scripture today, we continue in the book of Ecclesiastes on this Wednesday, in chapter 9, beginning with verse 11. Again, I saw that under the sun the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to the intelligent, nor favor to the men of skill but time and chance happen to them all. For man does not know his time, like fish which are taken a, a, in an evil net, and like birds which are caught in a snare, so the sons of man are snared at an evil time when it suddenly falls upon them. I have also seen the example of wisdom under the sun, and it seems great to me. There was a little city with few men in it, and a great king came against it and besieged it, building great a siege work against it. But there was founded in a poor wise man, and, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yea, yet no one remembered the poor man. But I saw that wisdom is better than might. The poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heeded. The words of the wise heard is, is quite uh, in quiet are better than the shouting of the ruler among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroys much good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from Galatians, the fifth chapter, beginning with the first verse. For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand fast, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Now I, Paul, say to you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again of to every man who receives circumcision that he is bound to keep the whole law. You are, uh, you are severed from Christ, who uh, you who would be justified by the law. Yet you have fallen away from grace. For though the Spirit by faith, we wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision is of any avail, but faith working through love. You are running well, you who hindered you from obeying the truth. This persuasion is not from him who calls you. A little leaven le leavens the whole lump. 
I have confidence in the Lord that you will take no other view than mine. And he who is troubling you will bear his judgment, whoever he is. But if I, brethren, still preach circumcision, who am I still perse- why am I still persecuted? In that case, the stumbling block of the cross has been removed. I wish, though, those who unsettle you would, would mutilate themselves. For you are called to freedom, brethren. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love be servants for one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you are not consumed by one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemy, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, give us an increase of faith, hope, and love, and that we may obtain what you have promised. Make us love what you have commanded. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Wednesday morning, and we hope that you'll uh, watch Pastor Matthew and Morgan and Gracie this evening, and I hope to see you tomorrow morning. God bless you, and have a great and safe day. Bye-bye.